want to say it again, what I was saying here. The problem we have made, we are left with titans without Christ. The more the church becomes big, you're an apostle or bishop. In the scriptures, the, a bishop must be a person who's married, who have got children who are obedient to him. The bishop there was not a wife there. Was a person who have a wife. There's no bishop who's a woman there. Look here, today we are full of scriptures. You're an apostle, you have never traveled. You are local and you are lacking. <laughs> How can you be an apostle who have never traveled? Because apostle means God sent. It's not something special. It's God sending you. You have never gone anywhere. You're an apostle. You're a prophet. The fulfillments of your words determine you. The Bible says we must not fear you if you speak things that does not come to pass. In other words, a prophet must be feared. You remember by the time of Samuel, eh? when he goes to where Jesse was staying, everybody was trembling. I said, the man of God is here because God wants to speak. He must be feared because he speaks things that will happen. A prophet must come here and say that there will be a rain this week and it's a disaster so we need to make sure that our houses must be okay. Or he must come to you and say, brother, you are going to die. And, uh, I mean, you're going to die. <laughs> a pastor is a guider of your spiritual level. He must teach you to grow, how to work with God. Same applies to it. That's what a pastor and a teacher is one thing just to guide you, to teach you. Today we are left with what? Titles. When I grew up, I was attending a church where people wear clothes with a cross at the back. Another one just looked and said, this cross, it seemed to be small. I will get my own big. Next week you find that he's wearing a big jacket with a big cross at the back. And then when we dance, we used to... <laughs> You must, you must see the cross. See the cross. But there was no cross. Cross has done nothing to us. We are left with titles. Even Christians now, they just go to church. Number one, they are going to solve their problems. Today, if you don't have a problem, you don't go to church. That's why today we have got leaders who are not called. Because they have seen that it's a solution to their career. I mean, if I do it like this, I'm trying to work my job and I can't get money. Ah, people are becoming pastors and get money. Let me be a pastor. Others, they go to Bible school. That's why there are Bible schools everywhere. To be a pastor. From there, recruiting people. I'm a prophet. I bring you. Now, you don't know Christ, you know the prophet. So this thing, we need to change it, how we need to pray. To pray for God's intervention. I don't know if you're hearing me. We need to pray for God's intervention, whereby when I'm a pastor, if I look at my worship team, yeah, I must say, no, I cannot accept sin there. I'm sure you're hearing me. I must look at my ashes. I must look at my ashes 
What are they ushering? The Bible says the ushers must be filled with the Holy Spirit. Stefano was part of ushers who were filled by the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's choose people who will be ushers. They were seven. All of them were filled by the Holy Spirit. Of course, demons will enter from, move from here and enter to this one just like that. Our church today is a joke. Very soon, this church is here, will be closed. Very soon. Because we were talking about this, you see this, you see that. Very soon, you, for you to go to church, you'll be confused. Already there are many people who are confused here. Because the day you found that this man is not the man of God, you were thinking. I've been saying this to you, it's not true. I've been telling you. The day you just come here, ah, I didn't know this man. And you realize you gave him a lot of money. You will fail now to give in the church because of what you did there. The, the day you realize that ah, the person bless you and this person was not living a right life. I'm telling you, you people here, you don't pray. That's why today our church is a joke. Witches are here, sitting in the church. I mean, they are doing nothing. Witches now, they are in the church now. We don't know whether you are, you are, you are Satanists or what. Satanists are around now. Others are saying amen. Others are leaders in the church, Satanists. Witchcraft. Others people are smoking. They are singing with the baritone in the chair. Oh, 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 a cigarette. Everything is mixed up. And Jesus is coming back. So this is something that I don't believe in this gospel of. I'll come to you and say, ah, how can you become rich? Ah, and I teach you about how to become rich. Number one. Number one is make sure that you, you, you stand like this. Number two, you must wash your two teeth. This in front. This one. Don't wash all if you want to wake up. You, this three, because the trade here. Number three, the way you present yourself. You must, you must walk in a way that you are showing you, you are selling a, a portfolio. Your, your clothes. Even your hands must be like this. Now people will, will come to church. No Holy Spirit. Lies everywhere. People are sick today. And some people here, you know, God gave them a grace to be prayed for so that they live. And these are the people we are playing with them. Before God, what are we going to say? Before God. We are a ministry of bearing people. We are, now we are a ministry of bearing people. As long as we can get money from them. Get money from them. So this is the time that all of us here, you are hearing, we go back to our drawing board, we sit, am I a Christian? You ask number one question, why I go to church? Why do I call myself Christian? These two questions are important. Why do you go to church? Let me ask some people. Why do you go to church? Now? To seek for my salvation. To seek for my salvation. Why are you a Christian? Because I love Jesus. Because I love Jesus. You see, somebody just said, ah, very soon you will hear that question. Come. Why do you go to church? To worship God. Very soon, going to church you will be criticized everywhere. So now, you people here, you will hear the issue of going to church. Are you going to church? I still go to church. You hear that? So why do you go to church? And why are you Christian? Because you can see the leaders. God is making them to know, don't trust in leaders, trust in me. And people will be talking on the other side. Why do you go to church? I'm obeying God's word. See, this one, stand up. 
This one has answered me right. Why do you go to church? I'm obeying God's word. You must be able to say, it's part of my obedience. Going to church for me, it's not because I, I'm going to worship God. I can worship God everywhere. Even in my room, I worship God, isn't it? Even, even the restroom, I'm going to church because it's part of my obedience in the word. The Bible says I must not forget to meet where others meet. It's not true. So you people here, you're going to be questioned about that. You see going to church as useless. That persecution that is written in the Bible will come now. Will come to extend that you are. Church closed, church closed, church closed, church closed, church closed, church closed. Pastors arrested. Many things will happen. Very soon, even yourself say, ah, me? Oh, so it's tanda zira lapekai. It's about to happen. Amen. Hallelujah.